I'm waiting for the audience to build, I'm going to show you this. I have to show you this, hang on. I've just been cracking up laughing. My t <laughs> Isn't that the funniest reindeer? My, um, my team have been counting down on our page for me going live. <laughs> They're a crack up. God, I love them. I'll just wait one minute. I'm not going to wait too long because I know people can watch this back. Hi, Jono. I know that it's late for a lot of people. Hi, Jolene. Um, sorry I left it so late, but I needed to make sure that my kids... Hello, Kelly. I needed to make sure my kids were, well, my youngest was in bed because I'm home alone and, yeah, hopefully she stays in there. Hi, Claire. I was just saying, you got my, my, my farting reindeer. So funny. Oh, I had to share that. Hi, Lee. You missed my farting reindeer, Lee. It's here. I, turned, I just turned it on. I'll, um, you have to watch the start of the video again. Oh, here, I'll do it really quickly because there's still people joining us. My boys love that. Oh. Hi, Jodie. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Claire. Hi, Kieran. Oh, my teenies are all here. Hi, Cheryl. That's exciting. Yeah, they were all counting me down on my page and I was cracking up laughing, making me all nervous. Hi, Carmen. Hi, Scott. You did join. You missed my farting reindeer. You have to watch it again. I won't show it again. Oh, I know my dishwasher is being noisy. Hi, Lana. All right, I'm going to start because I know that people can watch this back. Um, I don't even know where to start. My name's Nat, for those that don't know me. Um, I am a mum of three children, nine, seven, and three. My husband works away at the mines all week, so I've got the little rat bags, I mean, darlings, um, all by myself during the week, and he comes home on the weekend. So um, it's pretty crazy and full on, but I love it, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm pretty blessed that I don't have to work, work a proper proper job as such because um, he does have a good income and are oh, you driving Scott get off the phone <laughs> naughty um, yeah so I, I, I am a stay-at-home mum very very busy um, lots of extra ac extracurricular activities and that kind of thing um, and since he's another one of my extracurricular activities so hi Jane so my story starts um, one of my good friends, Kelly, she was having this scentsy, smelly candle party thing. I had no idea what it was. And I liked candles, so I just went along for some fun and to sort of socialise with her anyway. Um, anyway, I went to her party and I absolutely loved the products. And um, as we all do, we all fell in love with it. That's why we joined. Um, so anyway, Kelly ended up joining. And I got the news um, soon after that that I was moving back to Brisbane. Because at that stage, I was in Canberra. And... I thought instead of buying through Kelly um, and getting it shipped to Brisbane all the time and paying that 20% shipping, I would just join and get it cheaper for myself. That's literally the only reason I joined because I loved, I loved the product and I wanted to be able to just buy it. Um, and I thought maybe some close friends and family would just buy it off me like really casually. Um, so I ended up joining. Um, I didn't hit Shooting Star. I didn't really think much of it. My, oh, look at all the love hearts, Jane. Um, yeah, I didn't even realise what Shooting Star was at the time. Um, I was moving into state. My head wasn't in that, that's, that head space to even consider it. All I wanted to do was get my products cheaper. So I didn't, in, didn't get my Shooting Star, which I'm dirty on now because all my teamies are getting theirs and they have their Shooting Star charm and I don't. Um, but I'm super happy for them. But my, charm, my bracelet's missing that charm and I can't get it back. So if you can get it, get it. Um, but that goes to show you that you don't have to get Shooting Star to become a director. Um, anyway, so I ended up joining. I conned, I conned Pam, my sister-in-law, my sister Michelle, uh, my mum, and um, my friend Belinda to have parties for me. And I was just going to leave it at that. I thought I'll just do... That was kind of like three launch parties for myself. Um, and just to show my friends and family what I was doing and that was going to be it. And if they wanted to buy off me, they did. If they didn't, they didn't. I didn't care. I just wanted the products cheaper. Um, so anyway, I ended up doing that, and then from those parties, I got party bookings, I got party bookings, I got party bookings, I was like, what's going on here? All right, I'll just go. Um, it was nervous as hell, as we all are when we first start. 
Um, now I don't get nervous at all. Um, uh, <laughs> my heart's. Um, yeah, so I ended up getting lots of party bookings. So I did all those parties and I, yeah, it just skyrocketed all the party bookings. And I thought, okay, this is, this is fun. Um, Shane's away all week. I get to, he comes home and then I get to go out and party on the weekends. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Hannah, Kelly, um, Jade. Um, yeah, so I called it my mummy time out and I actually say that at my parties. Um, I say, take your time. This is my time out for me to have some fun. I'm not wife, I'm not mummy, I'm just Nat and I'm here to help you. So um, I just enjoyed spreading the word of Scentsy. Um, I just, yes, talked about the products with such enthusiasm because I love them. I sell them because I love them. I don't love them because I sell them. So, and then I think, I think that shines out in me because I get really excited about the products and I just start rambling. Um, yeah, so I, I love home parties. That's my, my biggest part of my business. I know lots of people do find their, their niches. Some people have basket parties that they love doing. Some people do Facebook parties. I do all of that, but my biggest parties are my home parties. I've been doing oh, maybe three to six a month, um, which has been getting me more and more bookings. Hi, yes, Tracy. Um, yeah, three to six parties a month, which has, be, has got me where I, I want to be with financially at the moment, um, but always pushing for more. Um, anyway, my first three teamies ended up pretty much asking me to join. Um, I wasn't one of those people that wanted to go out and and harass people and ask and beg for people to join my team. I didn't like that concept whatsoever. Um, and anyway, it wasn't until I sort of, I shot up to becoming a star consultant and it was like, what's happened here? I remember Pam and I were sitting at, um, well, is it World Tour? Was it in February last year? And the idea of the, being coming a director seemed like way off for both of us. Um, I was only, what was it, four, four months, five months, five months into my journey, uh, six months into my journey as um, a consultant. And the idea of becoming a director was quite laughable to me. Like, was it like maybe in three, four, five years, I wasn't actually really interested in it um, until I went to that um, world tour and also... I started getting messages from Scott and from from people supporting me and thinking maybe I can do this. I don't know. Um, once I got my three teamies, it, it started to excite me, and then I started putting my ads out and getting more more teamies on board. Which hi oh hi everyone. Um, yeah, I think once I sort of got the taste for it, I started thinking maybe I can do this. I had a lot of self doubt. Um, probably my first six months. Um, and it wasn't until I started getting lots and lots of positive feedback and support from certain people, and they know who they are, that I, yeah, know, my whole mindset changed. And the biggest thing for me was to get out of my comfort zone. If you'd told me this time last year that I would be doing live videos for you guys, for, you know, hundreds and thousands of people, um, doing videos on Facebook, YouTube, I'm like, no way, not me. I... No, I get too nervous about that. I'm not doing that rubbish. No, no way. People laugh at me. I get judged, blah, blah, blah. Um, honestly, it wasn't until I started doing that and I, my mindset changed to, I don't care what people think. Um, what's that saying? What people think of me is not my problem. And it's true. If people have got a problem with me, that's their problem, not mine. So I think once that mindset sort of slipped into my head, I just started being me. Um, <clears throat> my voice is getting croaky. I let the world know what I was doing. Um, I advertised myself, I advertised my business. Um, you need to step out of your comfort zone. If you're going to sit around at home, putting up a post now and then, and, and giving one catalog out, you're not going to grow your business. You need to become known as your local Scentsy lady or Scentsy man. Um, hi, Pam. Um, so yeah, you need to put yourself out there so that when people hear the word Stacy, uh, I just saw your name pop up. When people hear the word Sensi, um, they think of you. And I've got that happening in like in local mum's groups and things. People put up a, a, a post about Sensi and straight away I get tagged. And I love that. Um, I brand myself. I've got, you know, car magnets, T-shirts, everything Sensi. Um, so you have to do that as well. Um, yeah, so once I, yeah, I was going to say. So I joined in August, I didn't even tell you, I joined in August last year. So I've only been... Um, 
insensi for what, I don't know, 15, 16 months. This is so unrehearsed. I have no notes, anything. <laughs> um, 16 months or something now. Um, I, within my first five months of joining, I earned Singapore for free, all expense paid holiday. Um, Scott had to tell me about, I had, I made him check three or four times that it was true because I didn't believe it. Um, I joined to get stuff for myself. The, 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 I didn't even think about the idea of the holidays because that was something that's like way out for, for the big honchos, you know, little old Nat can't get holidays. And sure enough, within my first five months, I got an all expense paid holiday to Singapore, which I went to in May, and that was amazing. And I came back from that holiday with lots of new friends and a different mindset. So I'm really looking forward to what leadership can do for me as well. I earned that in New York City. Um, we're going in, in like four weeks. I can't believe we're going. Um, we're, going uh, we're going to be in the snow in like four weeks. It's just weird. Um, hi, Shana. Um, Jane. Um, yeah, and I've earned the Great Barrier Reef slash hopefully Africa. We'll see. It depends if I can stay in the top 100 and how that goes. But definitely um, an all expense paid for my holiday for myself and my husband. Um, that was a big motivator for me this time around because I really want to take Shane on a holiday. He hasn't been on one for a long time and he works very, very hard for his family. So to be able to do that for him is a big deal for me. It was our 10-year wedding anniversary this year and we went to the movies. I'm not going to tell you what movie we saw because it was absolute rubbish, but we went to the movies for 10 years and I cried my eyes out when I turned to him and said, Happy anniversary, 10 years, well, it'll be 11 years next year. I'm taking you on an all expense paid holiday. So that was a big motivation for me. Um, I'm not sure what else, what, hang on. So uh, within 11 months, I think it was, yeah, just before my sense of birth, it's 11 months in, I actually became director, which to this day still my jaw just drops because, um, and, and I, I'm so happy that it was the month that heaps of us, all my, you know, Sensi friends became directors at the same time because we got to walk the stage together. And that feeling um, is something that you can't buy. It's it's an amazing feeling of accomplishment, of self-belief. And I was just so proud that someone who joined as a hobbyist to just get the things for, for free and cheaper became a director and was able to walk that stage without even, I don't know, realising it. Um, yeah, I've got lots and lots of friends that really, really support this business um, and I treasure that really, um, really muchly. <laughs> it's good English. I, I really treasure that a lot and they know who they are, um, friends, friends and family outside of Sensi, but also I now have friends and family in, in Sensi. So Sensi has done a lot to my life. It's changed me completely. Um, I now feel like I, <coughs> feel like I can um, contribute financially to the family as well. Uh, my income now as a director a few months in, what is it, July, August, September, September, what, four or five months in, six months almost, is good. Like, I'm happy with it. And I'm not going to settle Scott. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> but I can't believe where I am now. So if I can do this, little old Nat with three kids stuck at home, you guys can do it too. You need to get out of your comfort zone and you need to believe in yourself. Um, around people I don't know, I'm generally quite a shy person and um, Sensi has brought me out of my shell, something chronic. Um, I think, yeah, I don't know. This whole last year has just changed me. Um, I'm happy. I, yeah, I, I feel, like I said, I've said it before. I'm not going to cry. I've said it before that I feel like Nat again. I think as a mum, you kind of lose yourself a bit with the craziness of the kids and then, you know, being wife and that kind of thing. Um, and I have I get a chance to be me and I love it. Um, yeah, and contribute financially and it's something that I can be proud of. People say what you do or ask what you do and I can say that I'm a director of my own business. And I don't know. I guess my, my three-year-old's getting older and I've, I used to think, what am I going to do when she's old enough to fend for herself a bit more, I need to find a job. I don't want to go and find a job. <laughs> um, and then this sort of fell into my lap and I've made it into my job and I love it. I'm the queen of self-doubt. So oh, thank you, Karen. If I can do it, oh my God, you can. I, I made Sensational Start Level 2, um, which I hadn't really tried for. I, I tried for, but didn't understand it as much as I probably should have. Um, and that was a good motivator and start as well. But like I said, I didn't make shooting stars, so don't stress if you don't. 
um, do try and get it though because I do miss it on my charm bracelet and I cry every night that it's not there. <laughs> I've got all these other charms and I'll never have the shooting star charm, but that's okay. Thanks for all the hearts. You guys are lovely. But that's pretty much my story in a nutshell. Um, the biggest thing I want to tell you guys that I hope you get out of this is to get out of your comfort zone. Um, that helped me grow, that helped me change as a person and it helped me grow my business. So um, get on Facebook, who cares? Go, go knock on doors, go to hairdressers, go to, to people you've already got to know. The worst thing you're going to do is get another no back. The best thing that's going to happen is they'll go, oh yeah, I'll try that. Bring in a basket and say, hey, I've got this. Um, do you know what this is? Do you want to try it for a week? Just do it, who cares? And the more you do it, the easier it becomes. I used to get so nervous about doing home parties. I don't get nervous at all anymore. Same with going on videos. Um, don't care. Like, I don't even have notes. The first time I did a video, I had like four pages of notes and I cried. I had this reputation in Sensi and also in my personal life as being the Suki Lala of the group, which I am, but it's just, <laughs> it's gotten worse because, um, I don't know, since having three kids, my hormones, I don't know, <laughs> they're all going to laugh at me now. My hormones have just made me really, really emotional and I can't control it and I hate it and it's annoying and when I cry, I cry. But I've got nothing to cry about now because I'm just proud and happy and I hope that I can help somebody. They're all my teamies are laughing at me. <laughs> oh, yes, I don't see, I'm, I'm very proud of myself. Everyone was teasing me saying I was going to cry. Um, but yeah, no, my hormones got worse after the, as each child, as I had each baby. But um, I am a very sentimental person, an emotional person. That's why my teenies are called the Scented Sentimentals. So, does anybody have any questions? I'm going to keep it short and sweet because I know you guys have got lives. <laughs> you don't want to listen to me all night. Uh, I can't see any coming up. If anybody has any questions that they want to um, ask me, I, do, I have had random people message me um, before. If you want to message me anything, you can, and I'm happy to help as much as I can. I am just an, a normal busy mum like everybody else not my own father um if I can do it you guys can I am lucky that I don't have another job that I have to do but there are many successful sensi consultants that also have who's your first my favorite first oh, you are you and Jono of course <laughs> who's your favorite brother um I've forgotten his name I haven't seen him for a while I think it's John John Jonathan <laughs> How did you grab your first teamie? They asked me. I was at a party and she asked me at the party. She said, well, how do I join? It was weird. I'm like, what? You want to join? And that was after my, I think, third or fourth party. And I was like, what? Um, how am I going to train this new teamie when I'm new myself? I had no idea. Aw, Jodie. I can't wait for New York City. I can't, I can't believe, like, we're going from this heat to the snow. We're like snow angels. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I am a traveller. I've um, spent a lot of my, you know, years travelling and, and visiting different countries. And the fact that Sensi is going to put stamps on my passport excites me. Lucky you. I'm not sure what that's for. Oh, my hair's not so bad. <laughs> I look terrible in this light too, sorry. You're stuck with it. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed with an amazing team. Um, one thing that I do recommend that you do with your teams, which is what I do, is um, we have a group chat going um, and we are always in that group chat. Oh, thanks, Claire. We do have the best team ever, Kieran. The sentimentals rock. Um, we just have this amazing amount of love for each other and support and it's just crazy. Um, yeah, if, there's, if, if I'm busy or if someone's busy, they just put a question in, the, in our chat group and it gets answered like that. Like it's just, um, yeah, just get to know one another. <clears throat> we are hilarious. We are. Jodie, you missed out what they were doing. They were all counting down me going live and it was making me nervous. <laughs> oh, Jane was going eight minutes, six minutes, two minutes. Oh, my God. Uh, hi, Casey. If no one's got any questions, I can let you all go, let you off the leash. <laughs> um, my, my story, it's not exciting, but it is exciting. It's exciting in the fact that I'm just an ordinary person that did this. 
Now you're my second teamy Pam. My first team is Rachel. Rachel actually is not a teamy anymore. She um, didn't understand how to work her business. She didn't get out there. Um, she sort of kept in her small circle of friends and um, she ended up saying, Sense is not working for me because I'm not selling it. And I was like, you need to do this, 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 this. And she didn't take that on board, which was her decision. Everyone uh, joins for different reasons and pushes themselves differently. And she ended up um, terminating because she wasn't getting out of her comfort zone and she wasn't getting herself out there. So no one knew really what she did. You need to post in your Sensi VIP group at least once a day. Let people know that you're there. I do love, I love the family feeling of Sensi too. I really do. It's like a whole other world. It's so, it's weird and wonderful all at once. So, I'm looking forward to meeting a lot more of you in New York. <clears throat> and seeing all of my friends from Singapore again. That's okay, Jenny. You didn't miss much. <laughs> oh, you did. You just missed me. <laughs> oh, and you missed my farting reindeer. If you want to see the farting reindeer, you'll have to um, look, watch the video at the start. Unless you want me to put it on again. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. Oh, it's just, I find it hilarious. <clears throat> Any more questions? I hope it's helped, I hope it's helped, I don't know, motivate someone, even if it's just one person, to put a video on on Facebook, um, get themselves out there, play me, <laughs> really. Okay, for those that missed it earlier. Happy holidays! We wish you a really happy holiday. We wish you a really happy holiday. We wish you a really happy holiday. It goes on and on, but I'm very pleased with that. I meant to say, how do you beat the butterflies? You fake it till you make it. Um, I don't, yeah, I suppose there's not much you can do is just don't let people know that you're nervous. Or you can go the opposite and say, look, guys, I'm really nervous. Bear with me. It's up to you how you choose to do it. Um, there's a movie I watched the other day. I think it was the about a, uh, I Bought a Zoo movie. And in there, he's from Big W, the reindeer. And in there, um, Oh, they, they talked about like being being brave for 10 seconds and then the little boy he wants to t uh, kiss a girl or talk to a girl or something and his father teaches him the rule of being brave for 10 seconds so he counts backwards 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and goes and does it and i think that's actually a really good concept to take on in your sensi business if you're nervous about walking into a hairdresser with <laughs> with a basket of sensi you just do the 10 second rule Count to ten and go and do it. And if you get a no, who cares? Because you already had a no to start with. If you get a yes, then that's a bonus. So you're going to get no's, 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 no's for one yes. Um, maybe 50 no's for one or two yeses. So just keep asking. Same with teamies. Um, buy, swap and sell ads do work. I do have a couple of teamies from buy, swap and sell ads. So keep posting them. Um, it took me lots and lots of ads to get those people. But just keep posting them because there's going to be one person that scrolls through and goes, hey, what is that? Um, they might see 10 Sensi posts. They might see your profile picture and choose you. So you've got to just put your story out there. Um, like, what, like, yeah, personalise your story. Pam's done a great one on her um, page if you want to have a look at that. Um, and we're all going to do our own personal stories in the new year as well and telling our Sensi story to everybody because we all have one. Um... We all start somewhere. We all want to do the same sort of things with our business. Let's go home. I'll check out the replay. Yeah, you'll have to look out for this dude. <laughs> oh, pretty funny. I bet you didn't think you'd listen to a farting reindeer listening to my talk. <laughs> and I'm very proud that I didn't cry. <clears throat> so... Any more questions? I'm trying to get my name out there more and get some home parties. How do you get so many? Um, how do I get... Uh, I actually, one thing I... One thing which is how I got... Okay, I need to tell you a story. This just reminded me. So I had this random lady. Uh, what did she do? Messaged me. Messaged me on my Facebook. I think it was. No. Email. I can't remember. She messaged me and said that she wanted to order something. I said, sure, no worries. How, can I ask how you found my name? And she said that she ended up using Google and found, um, she lives around the corner for me, found a local consultant, which was me, and I was the only, the only director in the area, and she chose me. 
Anyway, so she wanted to do an order, and I said, hey, do you want that order for free? Um, do you want to do a party? And she's like, I'm not into home parties. And I'm like, that's fine. What about a Facebook party? And she ended up doing a Facebook party for me, and that party turned into a $1,200 party, and I got my teamy Jane. Jane was a, a customer um, online on, on um, Renee's Facebook party. Hi, Jane, and that's how I got you. And Jane's amazing. She's my star consultant, and she's, like, cranking it. So from turning it from one person messaging me and saying, I want to order something, some random person I hadn't met, I turned it into a party, I turned it into a teamy. So um, think outside the box. Every time someone messages me, um, can I order something? I'm like, you know, you can get that for free or half price and I will get bites and I won't. I just keep asking. Um, same with home parties. Um, if someone's got a big list of orders, I can say, um, do you, your list is looking pretty big. Do you want to try and get that for, for half price? I can help you and try and get bookings that way. So... Yes, Jane spent so much. Jane had never heard of Scentsy before, and she bought so much stuff. And Renee, oh, hang on. And Renee's my um, my host. Renee was like, "You need to get her." I'm like, "Yes, she's amazing. Her enthusiasm. It's funny because I can pick when I'm at a party. I can pick who has a Scentsy spirit. Um, my teamy um, Jody had it as well, and Stacy. Oh, you guys, like, I, can, I can pick them. Adriana. At parties, you can just see who's got the sense of spirit. You need to work with those people because they will be amazing for, the, for you know, having their own business. Everybody, yes, you did. And you kept ordering and ordering. <laughs> I was like, this girl's spending so much money on shipping. Oh, God, I love you, Jane. No. So I hope that answered your question. I'm sorry, I just rambled then, but I had to tell that story because it's pretty cool going from someone messaging me an order to eventually getting like a teamy. And that was what, Claire, yes, Claire, you had it too. <clears throat> Claire was actually, I, um, I, I did a party for a friend of mine and Claire's her mum and messaged me the next day about um, a really beautiful message and I was like, oh, you made me cry. <clears throat> yes, Jodie's on my twinny. Look at all my team, you guys are amazing. God, I'm lucky. Any more questions? I need to wash my hair. I think I'm done. Well, I think you guys are done listening to me ramble. I hope that's inspired someone. I don't know if it has, but if I can do it, anyone can do it. Get out of it. We love you. I love you too. Get out of your comfort zone. Just do it. Don't think about it. Just do it. Do the 10 second, what is it? The 10 second bravery challenge. Okay. Anytime you're thinking about doing something, just think 10 seconds and count back and go and do it. Same with asking for home parties at, at, at parties to get party bookings. You don't know if you don't ask. You've already got a no, go and get a yes. Hear me? <laughs> you're welcome. The day I met you, I know. Okay. All right, I'll love you and leave you. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that that's helped and that you like my story. I look forward to seeing a lot of you in New York City. I love you, Kelly. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. You and your smelly candle party thingy that I had no idea what it was. I'm so glad I went. And I'm so glad that you walked up to me that day at St. Gregory's School and introduced yourself, and we became friends. And now Canberra besties. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not going to cry. It's all right. You're welcome. Oh, good. I'm glad that you got something out of it, Tamara and Karen. Oh, I'm glad. To me, I felt like I didn't really give anything. <laughs> but I hope that you got something from it. I'm just being me. Oh, look at all the love hearts. Thank you. Are you really crying? I can't wait either, Kelly. <laughs> God, I love you. Oh. Aww. All right, I'm going, I'll sign off and I'm going to end with the farting reindeer one last time because it's hilarious. Are you ready? I know there's a bit of a delay. Can I give a thumbs up if you want the farting reindeer as an end to my story? If there's no, if there's no thumbs up, I'm not putting it on. Oh, wait a sec. 
farting around in no one? <laughs> I can hear the thumbs up, okay. Oh, it's either now. All right, I'm going to say goodbye and enjoy my farting reindeer. I'm going to play the whole thing and you can listen to it, okay? Jack is going to be playing with toilet paper tonight. Stay tuned for that too, Jack, my elf. He's going to be up to toileting mischief. Here's the farting reindeer and good night. Mwah. Oh, I didn't think it was that long. Sorry. <laughs> Bye.